Hi, this is Nico. I want to talk about news and stuff that matter to me. I, I, I want to explain some news from today, like mosquito repellent, a girl who is safe from leukemia thanks to a new therapy. Also, I want to talk about the Nobel Prize that was given to the U European Union, which to me seems like quite contradictory. Well, it seems quite contradictory because there are better people. I think there are better people that can get it, right? I have been looking for news that uh, I personally consider interesting or uh, attractive in some way. So uh, first thing I want to talk about is mosquito repellent. There has been an advertisement company that has had the great idea of broadcasting the mosquito repellent sound on the radio. You know, many people have at home some kind of plug that you just put on the wall and bzz, the sound, it's, it's an ultrasound. And there's lots of people that have like a plug-in that you put on the wall or it just goes with two batteries, whatever, and it makes an ultrasound that just takes away the mosquitoes. So this advertising company has had the great idea of broadcasting that sound over the radio. So the scientists have said, hey, how can you broadcast a sound to repel the mosquitoes if there is no scientific evidence whatsoever that there exists such a sound to repel the mosquitoes. So I thought, hey, wait, but we are selling by millions mosquito repellents by ultrasound frequency that you can have at home and plug it. So my first impression was, and then why are they selling those ultrasound buzzers that you just put in your wall and repel them? It makes no sense that they're selling something that doesn't work at the end and now that it's free, they say, hey, wait. So, related to this, we have Barnolf, that's a man that won the Nobel Prize for showing that mosquitoes are attracted to the smell of feet, but also to the smell of Limburger cheese, which, as my, my opinion would be, that it's the same kind of smell, right? So, talking about Nobel, you know, these days is being held in Oslo, the Nobel Award Ceremony, or as you want to call it. If we just see who has been give, given this prize like the past years, like Obama, so what? What? Obama? You know, yeah, I have the Nobel Prize, I'm gonna send just 10 times less to Iraq. And now the European Union. Those three countries, that's Germany, France and England, that have been like enemies forever, and now they're like just best friends, they have been given the Nobel Prize just because of the, all the diplomatic, because of all the diplomacy from the past few years and how have they become allies and that. Aren't there anybody better to give them the Nobel Prize? I don't know, just like the 14 year old Afghan girl who is fighting for women's rights and she was shot in the head just, just for defending the ra women's rights to an education. Forgive me for being so stressful, but I just can't stop thinking that this is not what it was before. I mean, I think if Nobel was here smoking his Nobel cigarette, he would think, oh, what? That, that's not what I put my money for. You know, I put it for another reason. I put it for better reasons. He would think, I put it so people who got my prize would finally recon that their life had had a motive. Motive, motive, motive. Motive. Yeah, that's motive. So leaving the Nobel Prize, we're gonna talk about Emma Whitehead. She's a, she was a six-year-old girl who had acute leukemia, type 6. And uh, she was diagnosed at the age of four. She tried chemotherapy, she failed. She tried again, she failed again. And uh, she was going to die. So, so her mother heard about an experimental treatment against leukemia that was being held in Philadelphia. So. She, she took her daughter there and voila, she's cured. But yeah, well, that's it. She's cured for now and uh, has, no, has had no other traces of leukemia whatsoever. The problem with this new treatment is that destroys completely the body. She was like seven days sedated because the pain could kill her. So we're gonna talk about prank calls. A prank call is a call when you act like you're somebody else. So in 2004, there was a hoax and they called from a radio station in Florida to Fidel Castro in La Habana and they, they acted as they were Hugo Chavez, the president of Venezuela. Also in 1995, 
the Queen of England had a 17 minute call with somebody who she thought it was the Prime Minister of Canada. In 1998, Tony Blair had had a call from another host call, of course, but he thought it was from the leader of the opposition, so he was talking and arguing on the phone for more than 20 minutes. So after being hoaxed, probably the last public hoax ever, Jacinta Saldana committed suicide, as her friends and family said, because she felt so ashamed that she didn't want to keep up and front all that she didn't want to keep up and affront all the public embarrassment. The two responsible Australian DJs are being now investigated by Scotland Yard. Now we'll talk about textile factories in Bangladesh. You now Bangladesh, to be a small country in comparison to China, exports 40% of the world textile and clothing, including probably this shirt and this shirt. In the past six years there have been more than 600 deaths and 2,000 injured by textile factory fires. The workers say they work in a very precarious environment because they have no emergency exits, no fire extinguisher. So please comment or like it if you like it so I can keep up with my motivation and put more videos soon. See you!